What's going on everybody? Let's solve this math question that says find the values of x for which the square root of ln x is equal to ln the square root of x. Well, our first step will be for us to know that the square root of a is the same as a to the 1 over 2. That means we're going to be writing the square root of x in this form. So we have on the left, we have the square root of ln x to be equal to ln x to the 1 all over 2. Now our next step will be for us to apply the property of logarithm that says when I have, for example, ln a and this is raised to the p, this is the same as p times ln a. Now we're going to be writing this in this form. So we have the square root of ln x to be equal to, that means this expression now becomes 1 over 2 times ln x. Now our next step will be for us to apply substitution. That means we can say that let ln x be equal to y. That means this expression now becomes the square root of y equal to 1 over 2 times y. Now our next step will be for us to get rid of this square root by taking the square of both sides. So I'll take the square of the left hand side. I'll also take the square of the right hand side. Now notice that this square cancels out the square root, leaving behind y to be equal to. Now this square affects the 1 over 2 and it also affects the y. So 1 over 2 squared gives 1 all over 4 times y squared. Now in order to clear the fraction, I have to multiply both sides by 4. So I have y times 4. This is equal to, on the right, I have 1 over 4 times y squared and then times 4. Now notice that on the left hand side, y times 4 is 4y. And this is equal to, now we have 4 here and we have 4 on the denominator here. So you see that this 4 here cancels out this 4, leaving behind y squared. Now our next step will be for us to move 4y to the right hand side. So we have y squared on the right. And when I move 4y to the right, it becomes minus 4y. Now leaving behind 0 on the left hand side. Well, this expression can also be written as, let's flip the positions. I'm going to be writing what I have on the right on the left hand side. I'm not necessarily moving it, but I'm writing what I have on the right on the left. And this is equal to, and then write what I have on the left on the right hand side, 0. Now notice that on the left hand side, y is common. So we can factor out y, open brackets. Now y squared divided by y is y minus 4y divided by y, I have 4. And this is equal to 0. Now we see that y times y minus 4 gives 0. That means it is either y is equal to 0 or y minus 4 is equal to 0. Now we can see that we have a value for y to be 0 here. Now for this other case, we can get the value of y by moving negative 4 to the right. And when I do that, as negative 4 crosses to the right, it becomes positive 4. Now let's recall from our substitution. Recall that we said let ln x be equal to y. So I'm going to be substituting this one after the other. Let's start with the first one. We say when y is equal to 0. So we have ln x to be equal to 
y y is 0 now notice that ln x can also be written as natural log of x and this is equal to 0 now let's apply the law of indices that says for example when I have the log of a base b and this is equal to p what I have here is the power this is the base and this is the number the law of indices says the number which is a is equal to the base raised to the power p so let's apply this property or law of indices to what we have here so the number here is x so x is equal to the base the base is e raised to the power which is zero now remember anything raised to the power of zero is equal to one so the value of x we have from here is equal to one now let's solve for when y is equal to four following the same approach we have remember recall from our substitution that we have ln x to be equal to y and substitute that means we have ln x to be equal to 4. now ln x can also be written as the natural log of x and this is equal to 4. now apply this property of logarithm so we have the number which is x to be equal to the base e raised to the power that is 4. so we've got two values of x we've got x to be equal to 1 and we've got x to be equal to e to the 4. now let's check if our answers are correct so let's check the given question is the square root of ln x equal to ln square root of x now we're going to try our first solution which is x equal to 1 so this becomes the square root of ln x is 1 and this is equal to ln the square root of 1 so this becomes the square root of ln 1 is 0 this is equal to ln the square root of 1 is also 1 now the square root of 0 is 0 and this is equal to ln1 is 0 so we see that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side which makes x equal to 1 a solution now this time let's check for our second value of x when x is equal to e to the 4 now let's substitute that here so we have the square root of ln e e to the 4 this is equal to ln the square root of e to the 4. now we're going to be applying the law of logarithm here so this expression inside of the square root can be written as 4 times ln e and this is equal to ln now i'm going to be applying the law of indices here to this square root so we have e to the 4 raised to the the square root can also be written as a power of half so this becomes the square root of 4 times ln e is 1 so this is equal to ln now watch 4 okay 2 can go 2 divided by 2 is 1 4 divided by 2 is 2 so we have e to the 2 so this on the left hand side now becomes the square root of 4 times 1 that is 4 and this is equal to now apply the law of indices logarithm here so this becomes 2 times ln e now the square root of 4 is actually 2 and this is equal to 2 times ln e like we said before ln e is equal to 1 so 2 times 1 so we see that the left hand side which is 2 is equal to the right hand side 2 times 1 that is 2 and that shows that x equal to e to the fourth is also a solution well feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video 
go ahead and give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos and like i always say until next time take care